So today I wanted to go ahead and come and do a review and swatches on these two palettes here that I've gotten from Ulta, the uh, Gilded Gold and the Rose Gold palettes. Um, you can get these at Ulta for about $20 a piece. Um, I had gotten these because I thought maybe it was like their twist and their versions, sort of like um, Halorock. Uh, it has the unzip palette, and then they have the second one that's more of gold tones, which I'm not sure if they're calling it unzip 2 or the... I forget what they're calling it right now. I can't quite remember. Um, so I figured this is like their twist to it because it's ro rose gold and uh, gilded gold, like gold colors. Okay, so let's kind of talk about the packaging and the products themselves and everything. So as you can see, um, it has a clear you can see the colors in through here um, it is pretty nice durable I, I would say it's a pretty durable um, palette like nice it's not a flimsy cardboard it's a nice thick cardboard it does have the um, magnetic closure like everybody likes on a lot of palettes so it does have that it does have the a plastic um, paper to protect the shadows. The colors are nicely written um, on here for you. As you can see right there, like the, the names are all written there. It does come with a uh, brush. So I here brush. It's pretty good brush. Why well, didn't use it? I don't know. That's kind of corny. But anyway, here's the brush. This is what it looks like. It feels like a nice uh, durable Durable brush, very nice, nice and dense. Um, I would probably use this more in the uh, outer corner B area. The only thing is there is no mirror, so that would be the downfall. I find I have to use another palette or use another kind of a mirror or something like that to go ahead and apply the shadow. So that's the downfall on it, and. Um, it is uh, a little on the thicker side compared to the um, Pro Palette, the Lorac Pro Palette. It does remind me also, in, as in like how the Lorac is set up, because up on top here, on the top part here, these are all shimmer. There is some glitter and shimmer on this one, and then on the bottom row is just all matte. So it, it's it does have the same... Um, same kind of packaging on that part. Um, I have played with these. I've used, like right now, what's on my eyes, which I'll bring you close down like I do sometimes. Hopefully I don't irritate you guys. But right now I do have the rose gold on is what I have on my eyes right now. Um, I mixed in the champagne color and just, <clears throat> excuse me, a couple other colors in there. I can tell you more if you'd like. Or something like that after a bit here but um so overall like whenever I was using the palettes um I wasn't quite sure what to think um and I'll tell you why because like when I first watched them um to me they just seemed like you know so so when I was watching them however I know you have to take in fact that you're not going to be wearing them on your hands or on your wrists or anything like that. You're going to be wearing them on your eyes. So I was, because at first I wasn't too sure. I was like, oh, I hope this is an indication of what the performance is going to be like. Then in playing with it and everything, um, the shimmer and the glitter colors, I was not sure how they would perform. Um, and then you got your mats in here, of course. And I wasn't sure how, you know, how they would perform. So when I was putting um, one of the shimmer colors on, I think when I was using the gold one here, I was using the Lust, is it Luster or Lustre or Luster or something like that. It's this one right here. Gosh, I'm trying to see where I'm at here. It's this one right here on the end. And um, I'm going to swatch it for you. Right there it is, okay. Okay. So there you can see it, you know, it, ref it 
it does um, give a nice sheen more to it. Um, I think, because like, I was expecting the shimmer part. I'm, I'm so used to the quality of Lorac and Too Faced and some of those palettes, because when you get to use a shimmer or anything like that that has shimmer, glitter, whatever, um, it's a little more um, opaque. A little more opaque, I guess. It's more a little more hardcore. There's a more pow to it, as I guess I want to say. Whereas this here, the shimmers and the glitters aren't so much. They're on a little more, I would say, more mild, milder side to that. I don't feel they give that full intense... Uh, shimmer and that I mean like if you're somebody that's looking for that uh, I can already tell you that the shimmers and the whatever in here then that's not going to be for you if you like the real intense hardcore shimmer um, if you're somebody who would like shimmer would like to try shimmer but you're always afraid I think this palette would be kind of for you now the glitter ones I will say there is a little bit of fallout. I didn't have major problems with the glitter. I didn't find the glitter to be too chunky or too whatever on my eyes. You know, some of it did kind of get on, on my face and that, so that's what I really want to say. <laughs> I'll get it out. I'll spit it out. And also, like, what I found, too, is um, these do kick up a good bit, as uh, uh, the term goes on here on YouTube, as people say is they do get kind of powdery or kick up a lot of the product. Now, the matte shadows surprised me extremely because they perform amazingly well for uh, for uh, Ulta. I was surprised, you know, it's, it's their great quality from Ulta. And I was really surprised and impressed with the matte shadows actually they performed really nice they're really opaque um i didn't have no problems with them like i said these these do kick up a lot of product i'm gonna go ahead and do some swatches for you for each of these palettes um do you need both obviously no you don't need both unless you're like me and you like to collect um palettes or you know you, you just you just love to play around with um, makeup in general. Um, if it was me, I mean, because it's going to depend. The golds here, um, they're not, they're not like the golds in the Lorac. Like in that palette, the golds are real intense, uh, metallic-y gold colors. These are more neutrally m mild uh, in the gold family, I would say. Um, so I, I don't find them to be, you know, real potent, bold colors and of gold. You have the uh, uh, rose gold eyeshadows, and they're more in your uh, plum tones, pink tones, and uh, certain things like that you have for that one. Um, so, you know, like, between the two of them, knowing me, I would, if I had to pick or choose between the two of them, i probably choose the rose gold over the gilded gold, uh, just because the rose gold is more of um, my tones of colors. So let's go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and get into the swatches of this palette, or both palettes. So okay, stay tuned here with me so I can get stuff in order. Okay, so let's go ahead and get ready to swatch these. I will go ahead and swatch the gilded gold palette first. So let's go ahead and get started with those. And the first one's called uh, Lustry. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm not quite sure. So that's Lustry. Next one is Gilded. There's Gilded. Uh, next one's called Flicker. It's kind of a cool name. Flicker. 
and then there's Starlet, which Starlet has some glitter particles in it. That one definitely has some glitter particles. So there's Starlet. That was this one here. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and swatch them on my hand. Which, like I said, the swatching is a little to be whatever desired. I guess the word I'm looking for. But honestly, um, like I said, I have used these and they perform great on the eye eyelids, though. So there, there they are there. Okay. Then the last two is there's opal, which there's opal right here. So there's opal. It's pretty. And then midnight, and it has some glitter particles also. So there's midnight. There you go, opal and midnight. So there they are there. Like you, you can see they're 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 not um overpowerful metallic y and you know they have some nice shimmer and stuff in them. Um I think this is fine for somebody that's a little a little not huge huge into shimmer I think they would appreciate it. Right, we're gonna go into the matte shades which the first one is called Bone. So this might be hard to see on me because of the tone of it. It's like close to my my skin tone. That's Bone. Next one is Tan. Tan. Next one looks like Singed or something like that. And I use that one as transition color. It seems to be a good transition color. Right there it is. Um, and then Scorched, which is this one right here. There it is there. See how they, some of them glide on too with a little bit powdery to them. So there they are there. Bone you can't see too well, but bone is about right there. Okay. And then the last two mats are lava. Here's lava. Oh, that wasn't good. There's lava. And then coal. So lava and coal. There's lava and coal. So there's those. Okay, then we're going to go into the rose gold. And starting at the top, we have, whoops, champagne. which that's what I have in the inner corner and going halfway over. Um, the next one is pink, which is just a nice pink color. There it is there, pink. You can see the difference in the two, the champagne and the pink. 
Next one is called Hopeless Romantic. There it is there. Hopeless Romantic. Uh, and then Chandelier is right here. There's Chandelier. There they are right there, those ones. Then we have Lux. This one right here, there's Lux. And then Dahlia's on the end here, which is a DP plum. And it has some glitter spark sparkle particles on it. I don't know if I said, Chandelier has uh, some glitter particles too. Didn't know if I got to say that or not, so. And they are there. This one's Dahlia. You can tell it's like a little more deeper. So. There they are, all there. And then we'll get into the matte shades. Starting over here. I think it's called Processo? Processo? Or something? I'm not sure. There. Be hard to see a little bit because, again, uh, bubbles. I like bubbles. There's bubbles. It's a soft matte pink color. There's bubbles. Um, and then Breathless is to me like mauve, almost like the mauve in uh, Lorac Pro, the first one. And I use it a lot for the transition color. That's it right there. And then Dessert. There's dessert. <laughs> Listen to me. There's dessert. Do you want some dessert? Actually, I actually had dessert. I had a big fat piece of cheesecake. But it was good. And it was worth it. I don't care. So there we go there. Um, then we have... Sweetheart. And the last one is called Orchid. But it looks to me more like purple grayish color maybe. That's this one here. I don't know, it's kind of different to be called Orchid. I don't know. It's a little more darker. I, I don't know. Just I'm used to, I guess, a different kind of coloring. But. So there we go. So all in all, um, these palettes here, when I say, like, you know, oh, they're extremely, they're like, wow, and amazing kind of. Um, no, I wouldn't say they're like, wow, amazing. But I think they perform really nice uh, for what, um, you know, for the, pr the price that you pay, the price point that you pay for them, and the quality of them, I think they're pretty good. Um, I would say the mattes, I really enjoy playing with just a little bit more than the shimmers and glitters, but overall, I think they are good palettes. Like I was telling you, for my eyes, I mean, you know, that did a pretty good job on my eyes, you know, I think, for the price that you pay for them, you know, they're, they're, they turn out really nice. And that's the rose gold palette that I have on my eyes right now, as a matter of fact. 
So yeah, that's my whole review, my swatches and everything on these palettes. I um, hope you found that helpful. Like I said, not everybody's going to probably agree with it all. They might not like them, you know, um, just everybody has a different preference. Some might think differently, you know, and some, some might really be madly in love with these. Um, like I said, I think they're good palettes. I don't think they're bad at all. And I give them a thumbs up. Um, I just, the shimmers is what caught me just a little bit, but I still feel like they performed decent. So, anyway, beauties, thanks so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, also, if you're not subscribed to my channel, I would so love to have you. So go ahead and click the subscribe button. Dutton. Hit the subscribe button down below. Yeah. Hit the subscribe button down below. And as always, beauties, please remember to be yourself, love yourself, and let the real beauty shine through. Until next time, I'll take care. And...